Now, Kamala's getting a dream run from the media, and it seems to also be true in social media and even on X, which is supposed to have community notes and, and these fact checks that happen in real time. I've noticed the official campaign account uh, deliberately puts out disinformation, things it knows to be untrue. Uh, I'll show a little example here. This is a deceptively edited video without context, and it's to pretend that Donald Trump didn't know what state he was in. He didn't know whether it was in Pennsylvania or North Carolina. Have a look. Now, would that be okay, North Carolina? I don't think so, right? They want me to speak all day. And uh, the Harris campaign were pointing out he's actually in Pennsylvania. He thinks in, he's in North Carolina. But Trump knew where he was. He was just acknowledging a group from North Carolina who uh, he had referred to earlier who go to a lot of his rallies. Have a look at the, uh, the earlier comment. I have another group from a place called North Carolina. Has anybody ever heard of North Carolina? We love North Carolina. The beautiful ladies over there. Now, these are lies from the uh, Kamala headquarters account uh, regularly go viral, get millions of views. Uh, without the fact checks or the community notes, they're not appearing on time. Uh, well, they sometimes don't appear at all. Sometimes they appear days late where everyone's moved on. Where are all the disinformation campaigners, Josh? Because for... A uh, couple of years now, we've been told disinfo, misinfo, it's the great threat to democracy and we've got to stamp it out. But they seem to not be too uh, perturbed about uh, what's happening on social media right now. Yeah, it's funny how that works, isn't it? How, you know, when when someone on the right says says something that offends the prevailing idiosyncratic woke, or, woke orthodoxy of the day, when they say something like that, immediately it is lambasted as misinformation. It is excoriated as disinformation. It is shadow banned. It is deplatformed. It is banned. It is, it is nuked from the internet. You can't even find it in an internet archive if you look hard enough. And then when someone does this on the left, you, you know, shall we say selectively editing, I guess, um, a deep fake, maybe you might even want to call it there. You know, I, I mean, these people have such short memories. You know, it was in June, in, in in the lead up, in the weeks prior to the fateful June 27th presidential debate on CNN, it was actually the left, it was Karine Jean-Pierre, the White House press secretary here, all the folks, the DNC, they were the ones actually who were accusing Republicans and people on the right of selectively editing videos to make Joe Biden look a lot older and more decrepit that then he actually was, according to their view. We all know that he actually is quite that senile. I mean, th this was literally two months ago. I, I mean, how stupid do they think we are? I mean, do they actually think that we don't have memories of literally two months ago? But now they have their bloodless coup. They have Kamala Harris in office there. Or, or I guess as a presumptive nominee, and and they think that now they can play the young person's card and try to make Donald Trump out to be older than, I mean, it, none of it makes sense. You know, say what you will about Donald Trump, your mileage may vary as to whether you like him as a politician. I certainly plan to vote for him and I'm proud to do so. But I mean, I mean no matter what you can say or not say about Donald Trump, you know, the man is full of vigor and energy. I mean, he does not act and talk like his age, his mental acumen. I mean, it, it is very clearly not something that a normal person in his late 70s he, approaching he on 80 a, would do. He had an off-the-cuff uh, two-hour chat with one of the smartest yeah. men in the world right now, Elon Musk, a, a genius, discussing just dozens of topics uh, without an auto cue, without notes, and if you want to pretend he's got some sort of cognitive decline, I think, well, you, you're basically speaking to low-information voters and hoping they don't look any deeper, and sadly, a lot of them don't. Uh, now, I mentioned the, uh, the dream run Kamala's getting. I just want to show you an example. Politico is deriding Donald Trump because he's trying to tie vi the vice president to President Biden and his record on the economy. They seem to think that the Biden-Harris administration is some sort of a, I don't know, a figment of Donald Trump's imagination. Uh, and they write it was a, a link Trump returned to repeatedly throughout his hour-plus speech, an effort to blunt Harris's polling and fundraising momentum by tethering her to Biden. The, the US media really is in the midst of a propaganda campaign unlike anything I've seen in my lifetime. 